Unit G, Excel 2010, on page 156, Changing Alignment and Number Format. Begin reading the paragraph under the title Changing Alignment and Number Format that starts when you enter data into it in a cell. When you are done with the paragraph, continue with this tutorial. This is a continuation from page 154 using the auto sum. Step 1. Select the range from C4 to C10. So we locate C and click C4, column C, row 4. And then it wants us to select everything in between C4 and C10. So find C10 and select everything in between. I did the shift click. You can do the drag if you'd prefer. Next, click the comma style button in the number group. The number group is located right here next to alignment and in between styles. So the comma that we're looking for is this little image right here. It says comma style. And what this will do is it'll add a comma separator. So rather than it, in it saying in C4, it'll say 7500. It'll say 7 comma 500. And it will also add a decimal and two zeros after it. Click the decimal degree or the decrease decimal button in the number group twice as, so that we can hide the two decimal zeros at the end since there are no fields such as ones or anything above that necessary. So the decrease decimal, we click one. Notice that one of the zeros disappears after the decimal and we click it twice and both are gone. Next. Select the ranges from B4 to B9. So we select B4 to B9. Press and hold the control key. So we hold down the control key on your keyboard and then we select the range D4 and drag down to D10 while holding the left mouse button and then release both. Now that we have both selected, then click the accounting number format button. You can do this in two ways. One, you can click the button here, or you can go over to accounting. But for this example, we'll click the accounting number button. Notice that a dollar sign appears to the left in both column B and column D of the cells we have selected. Click the column C heading. Then click the insert button in the cells group. So we go over to cells in the group and then click the insert button. Notice that C now becomes D and there is a new column for C. Click cell C3, type release date, then click enter. Then click the wrap text button in the alignment group. Before you do that, however, click back into C3. Now we go up to wrap text. This is the alignment group. Here's wrap text. Wrap text makes it so that we don't have to expand the cell or the column to fit the text. It will automatically wrap it down to the bottom and continue it on, determining on the amount of text you have in the cell. Click cell C4 and type March 1st, 2013. space 2013. Notice that the date changes the way we typed it in. Don't worry about that at the moment. 
Excel recognized that you typed in a date in cell C4 and changed the format to 1-March-13. You can use the number or format list in the number group to change this format. To do this, we click the number format list arrow. Number, and then this is the number format list arrow. You can also see this example in G14 on the on page 157. Click the short date. Sorry about that. Click the short date. What it actually meant for is the drop down right here. So we have it selected. Click the drop down short date. Next, click the copy button. You can do this one of two ways. You can click the button here, or you can use the shortcut, which is Control C. We click the copy button. And you notice we have dotted ants running around the cell that we've copied. Next, select the range from C5 to C9, and then click the Paste button. There are multiple options in this, but for now we just want to click the big button here. We click Paste. Next, press the exit or escape button on your keyboard. That's the ESC button in the top left of your keyboard. Click row 3 heading. Click the center button. This will center up all of your titles in row 3. And then click the bold button. Next, select the range from A1 to E1. So we select A1, and we can drag or do the shift thing to E1. Then click the Merge and Center button. What this does, so if we undo it, is it takes our cells, currently we have A1, B1, C1, D1, and E1, and it converts everything from A1 to E1 into, e, into A1 and then save your changes. That wraps up changing alignment and number format.